guys this week we're going to develop our story that we've been uh, learning about so the first week we um, did a, an observational drawing pencil drawing of a shell and we added looked for the lines and the marks and the shaping to give it um, some definition um, so we did this in pencil and we tried to create different tones so we did from a uh, dark almost black with our pencil into mid grey down into white areas so we had a look at that then we looked at doing colours so we took our shells and we looked at all the different colours in the second week so we looked at all the browns the beiges the whites the creams any purple tones brown tones that we got so we picked out all the different colours and created the patterns still looking at some of these that have got these ones are really nice where the shell is broken you can see the inside of the shell and the curvature these are really pretty okay so that was our second week now this week we're going to be learning about an artist called um amira gal um she's an artist uh current artist and a very young girl still um she lives in auckland in new zealand and she loves to do art with shells okay so we're going to try and do some of that okay so we did these pictures remember we did the other shells now she does something very similar to this can you see how pretty these shells are and she creates pictures okay um and these shells you look at the colors and the tones and the shaping she's getting she's getting all these curves so we do like the sad face shapes and the happy face shapes. We do curves in between. So you can see you've got like your white lines and then you've got your shadows just in between the sweeping round of this. Okay, so this is one of her pictures. I'm going to show you another one, what I like about her work. Okay, try and bring this down. Straight, yeah, straight. So she, this was her. This is a basic way how she works. So she has her shell picture, very similar to my one. Okay. She has a rough, plans it out in a rough sketch. Then she takes that sketch and then does a more detailed pencil drawing, and she goes around in that pencil drawing. You can see she's just put the basic colours in. So like this. So if we take this blue area here. Just paint it a plain shade of blue. So she's got that. Then she works into the colours. And then she's added like a dark blue there. And another cut shade of blue there. So she starts off basic. Then works into it a bit more. If you look into her pictures. It's like they're a mirror. So if we take this final one. It'll show you better on this final one. When we look inside. It's like we see something. We can see this is the sea. This looks like land. This looks like the sky. She's created something that we can look into, like through a mirror, through the hole in my shell, and we can see a picture through the shell. And she's created something. She's used all the colours from the shell, and she's created all these different tones of the sea and the blues and all the um, creams going all around, and the sweeping shape. See how it sweeps all around? And the tone sweeps there. And she's got all the shapes, these shapes that she's created. And she uses those shapes to create um, different areas. So we can use that. Um, this is another one of her pictures. Let me fold this down so it comes a bit closer to you. Okay. So she's got this one. Can you see that? Okay, yeah. So she's got taken a black and white photograph, but when, again, you look in this one, she kept it very plain background, but she's added lots of shadow work behind, so as if it was up against something. But again, she's created this sea, the tones in the sea, so she's gone from dark blues, light blues. She's created this roundness that looks like land sweeping around, but it sort of could also be the inside of the shell, like the shells coming round inside. So you can see how it all sweeps and how we could change it and make it an optical illusion. We're seeing something that looks like land, but it could be part of the shell. We don't know. Okay. She's done this one. 
and then she's used more vibrant colours on this one. So she's got her basic round shell. I don't think I've got a shell like that shape. It's almost similar, almost similar to the oyster shell. Very similar, but not quite the same. So she's got the shell and the curving inside, like a almost like a snail shell as she curves around. She's got the sweeping coming down and all the colours. She's got this wave, this colour comes across here, this blue. This looks like the sea and the blue colours. This also looks like the sea. This also looks like desert to me. What do you think? You make your own observations and your own ideas, what you see within that shell. Okay? So I don't want you to create an exact copy of a shell. You're creating um, more of an abstract and using the colours that you see to create a full picture. Now, when you do this, this can be done in paint or pencil. Water paints would probably be best because um, they're not so gloopy if you've got them. If you haven't, don't worry. You may want to do a collage with bits lying around the house. You could use colouring pencils. Um, you can use, I wouldn't say felt tips on this one, just because with felt tips, it's very hard to get the blending. You could colour an area in with felt tips, but then you'd have to shade over it. And I'd say with like a um, colouring pencil, so you can shade over the felt tips with a colouring pencil. You could try that option. Okay. This is another one I like quite like this one. This is this is almost very similar to my shell. So she's created her sketch outline, worked it out, then she's worked into it. So again, she's using those colours, all that sweeping. She's got that line here. You can see all the sweeping round comes down. She's got created that optical illusion again that looks like land, it looks like the sea. It's like mountains in the distance. You can see she's created that mountains, but then it goes on the outside, so it confuses the mind a little bit. And comes down big globules of um, like bits of water. You know, when water goes up, and we see globules of water when it all sprays up in the air. So it could be like little globules or bubbles as the water is all moving around and the sweeping, like all the sands. Okay like all the colours she uses and blends them all into each other. Now the ones I'm going to show you are some previous um, artists that have done. I don't want you to take their ideas, but I'm just going to show you the vibrant colours and ideas that you could get. So we've got this one. Okay, so you can see the nice shading, the textures, the tones. They've used lots of different colours around. They've got lots of blending big circles colors trying to create more shells like shapes going around well you've got this one oops let's turn that one around i think it's that one so we've got that shell that comes in here comes around got all the sweeping colors but look at this if i turn it around this way it also looks like a mouth and a fish so they've done an optical illusion of a shell but turned it, which is very clever, into a fish. You've got the sweepiness of the shells curling round up the top there. Okay, very clever. And you've got another one, a bit more basic, but still, oh, let's turn it around that way. Still as effective, showing me all the shadows and all the shaping. Okay, so what I want you to have a do go at is bring this one down so you're going to take take a shell you've got all the shell pictures on last week's work so go back to last week's work the cut painting shells or the colored in shells find a picture of a shell that you like the shape of you may have some shells oh there's one very similar so you may have some of these shells lying around at home use one if you've got one at home take a shell Draw your shell, do your observational drawing, get the shape in right, all the little dents and bumps. Then you can think about what you can add around the outside. 
how you're going to sweep it what's going to be your optical illusion what are you going to change that shell shape into but still looking like a shell could be very clever i can't wait to see these you can do these as you uh, wish um give you a week or so to do them and then what i might do is i'll put some extra work up it's not an assessment but i'll put some extra work up over half term just fun art you can do or go back and do some artwork that you haven't tried so it'll all be in the art, art under art you can go back and have a go at some other art bits that you haven't had a go at um over half term just in case you're a little bit bored you never know what if it's like this we won't be going out very much okay have lots of fun and i'll see you soon